Hey, before we get started, I just wanted to point out that I've organized all my videos into playlists on my channel. So if you're looking for more videos around a specific topic, uh, especially topics like this with general shoe knowledge, you can find all of the videos in one place uh, so that you're able to easily access everything that's out there. Thanks so much. So today we're talking about our TLB Mallorca uh, 121, which is part of the Artista line, and we are comparing it to an English shoe the Loke Trinity. Now the Loke Trinity is part of the export grade. It's the finest um, grade of Loke shoes and this shoe does not disappoint. Uh, it is a full brogue or semi-brogue but a regular brogue um, Adelaide. Um, you can see that they have a single piece of leather on the heel cap, beautiful uh, shape on the toe. Uh, there is no chisel okay, uh, and it is um, the, the U throughout here um, is just really, really well put together. Uh, what I love about this shoe, and you can see it has the export grade sole, so the heel, uh, the heel is different and the, uh, the paint on the sole is different. It also has a bevel waist, which is really nice. Um, really, really, very comfortable. Um, I can wear this shoe for 20 hours a day. Um, while I'm traveling, if I have to, I can wear it two days in a row and uh, it does not hurt my feet. And I cannot say that about a lot of shoes. Um, so really um, very, very nice. Now, uh, this shoe uh, costs 370 pounds, uh, which is uh, close to 450 bucks, 470 bucks. Um, so it's, uh, it's certainly not a, uh, an inexpensive shoe, uh, but it's very, very well crafted. Um, and uh, honestly, one of the best that Loke makes. Um, so you can see open channel, um, Goodyear welt. Um, and uh, now it's not a hand welted shoe. It's not um, doesn't have um, any of the finer details that you'll see on, on some of the others. Um, you know, this is like a Gaziano and Girling. You, the, the sole here is going to be basically carved and, and they're going to have a lot of different um, components to it. It's going to have a fiddle back waist instead of a beveled waist. Um, and, it, and it's not like that. The leather is not as high quality as that either, but this leather um, is higher quality than like your, your Allen Edmonds or um, your Alden or something like that, which uh, is saying a lot, right? Those are, those are very nice shoes and, and, and they really, um, you know, um, put together a nice product. So um, at least in my opinion, I know not everybody agrees, but now let's compare this to the TLB Mallorca, right? Um, so again, same pattern, right? You've got your heel cap um, with a small seam, so another single piece of leather. Um, you've got a beautiful U throat. The U throat is a little bit wider on this, but but very nice, um, very nice taper on it. Um, beautiful uh, toe cap. Uh, this has these beautiful rises here. It has more of a, chi a ch rounded chisel last. Okay, so it's there, and it has this gorgeous narrow waist, which really hugs your foot while you're wearing it, providing arch support um, and just a, a, a nice feel um, as you're wearing it. So. Uh, I cannot say enough nice things about this shoe. Um, now for, for $400, um, and I got it on a special sale, so the $400 included a belt. Uh, this is a tremendous value. Um, definitely uh, the same feel as, you know, one of the $700 shoes. Um, very, very, very well made. Um, just the, uh, the wear on the sole, the, the, the way everything puts together. Um, it just, I, I, I can't say enough. It's, it's just really, really well put together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about a few measurements, right? Because I think it's important to kind of look at things objectively. So we're gonna look at the heel, um, the heel widths. And you can see this, um, this heel has um, a, a little bit more curvature because of the way the waist is set, okay? And, and just where it is. So this one kind of goes out at an angle where the other one comes in, right? Okay, so there's that difference. Now the waist is incredibly different in size, but overall the same shape, right? And um, the uh, obviously this is a closed channel blind stitch, and this is an open channel regular stitch. Okay, so that's um, so those are, those are differences. Um, the last shape, you know, the shoes um, for being relatively the same size, they um, they they certainly have a different look about them. Uh, the, the length of the toe cap is slightly different, uh, although marginally, the same as the, uh, um, the youth throat, marginally different, okay? The heels, very similar, okay? Not proportionally different, okay? Um, so 
very, very, very similar shoes. Um, other measurements we're going to do is we're going to measure the welt line here to, to measure the sole stitch. And then we'll measure the upper stitch here. So in the end, uh, I'm going to say that uh, the TLB um, provides a better value, but this is still a wonderful shoe. If you're looking for something that's very traditional, uh, it's not going to stand out of the crowd, um, and it's just going to fit into your wardrobe, this is a great shoe. Um, I, I do strongly recommend the, uh, the Loke uh, export grade line. Uh, couldn't be happier with these, but um, if you're looking for a higher end shoe, uh, something that uh, is going to really mimic, you know, in the $600 plus range uh, of the machine welted, not the not the hand welted, uh, I'm going to say that this is this is a better bet, better value, um, and uh, the TLB just puts out a really really nice shoe. Now keep in mind this uh, brand has only been around for a couple of years, so these prices are probably introductory and they probably have a plan on, on moving them up a little bit over time, uh, whereas Loke has been around for a long time and is, uh, is very well established in the market. So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, your time and uh, thanks for watching this short video.